This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. I'm gonna share with you some video editing tips and techniques that once I started incorporating in my videos, dramatically increased the performance of my vertical content. The first thing I stopped doing was trying to make my videos look super cinematic. And I think that's because people are looking for more raw and authentic content these days, not something that's overly produced with like an expensive camera and lights. Next, you can create a vertical video project template. That way you can just copy and paste the settings from a previous video to your new one. And you can use that across all of your short form content and it's gonna give you a consistent look. It's also going to help you edit your videos a whole lot faster. Now this next tip seems a little obvious, but stay with me. And that is having a good hook. In this video, I'm going to show you how I easily color correct. You can say exactly what's going to happen in the video, but if it doesn't affect them emotionally or spark some curiosity, they're probably going to swipe away. In 2023, you definitely want to make sure that you're using captions in your videos. But what you can also do is you can animate your captions. And in order to do that in Premiere Pro, all you're going to do is go into Premiere and create your captions like normal. And if you're not sure how to do that, I'll leave a link up in the YouTube cards right now. Then once you've created those captions, just go ahead and select all of them and then go up here to graphics and titles and select upgrade caption to graphic. And that's gonna make it to where you can now add effects to those captions. Then you can go in and use something like the transform effect to create a pop-up effect on your text. And then you can just create a preset out of that and apply it to every single one of your captions. And just so that you have one, I'll leave a link to this pop-up effect preset down in the description. Another way to engage viewers is by using sound effects and music. And for that, I use Epidemic Sound. So I'll just go to their website and it's real easy because they automatically recommend me things based off of my previous download history, which is super nice for me to be able to find music very quickly. A reason I use Epidemic is because I don't have any copyright issues and I use them across all of my social media accounts, which is really great. And I don't have to worry about copyright issues whatsoever. If I'm looking for something different, I can just go over here to the magnifying glass and they now have this new semantic search feature that makes it very easy for you to be able to find the track that you're looking for. You don't have to know the exact genre. You can just describe what you're looking for in a quick sentence and it's gonna help you locate that track. This allows you to navigate tens of thousands of tracks and sound effects in just seconds. Another thing that's really helpful when you find the track that you want is you not only can download the full mix, but you can also download the stems as well, which is really good because you can really customize and be creative with your music. And all you have to do to find high quality sound effects is go back up here to the magnifying glass and go over here to the sound effects tab and just type in what you're looking for. You can try Epidemic Sound for free for the next 30 days by using my link down in the description. And for a limited time, you can get the next two months 50% off by using this discount code right up here. Thank you so much to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring today's video. Now you always wanna keep things interesting, especially with short form content. And in order to do that, I recommend doing pattern interruptions. And this could be things like doing a quick jump cut or zoom or switching to a different camera angle or adding in some B-roll or adding different effects like film burns and things like that. So the biggest thing I will say is just like, I would make sure that it, it's appropriate. You don't want to do a whole bunch of pattern interruptions and make things confusing because that could create a negative experience as well. There's so much opportunity with short form content right now. And if you'd like to learn more about my vertical video process, check out this video right here. And if you're looking for more video editing tips, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.